Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Rsquad911, back with another unboxing. And if you haven't guessed by now, by seeing what I have displayed in the background, I am unboxing what I think is, at least, comics. Um, yeah, not going to say what it is until we open it. All right, so been anticipating these. It should be two or three. Uh, hopefully... It's, this one looks thicker, so it looks like the two that I ordered, and then I have another one that I ordered on its own, so that would be the third one. Oh, packing cheesies. Do not like these. Well packed, so I'm happy about that, at least. Oh, these things get all over the place, gonna try to Oh, only one got out there. You know what? Okay, I can pull it out from here. Keep all this stuff in the box. Let's get this box out of the way. And see what goodies our squad got today. All right, so this is one out of the two. So I got the two. Um, and I'll tell you guys what my third one is after. Um, this one is Amazing Spider-Man number 375. I like it because it has the gold foil on it. Um, you can see here, Venom Lethal Protector, gold foil, a Venom Lethal Protector, uh, red foil. So this one's only 9.4, unfortunately. Um, but it was a good investment. And this was a 9.8. I think like two years ago, I only bought this comic uh, CGC graded 9.8 and only $50. Um, and now I think they're selling for about $200. And uh, this comic here I bought, I think roughly around the same time, two years ago, I picked it up for $150. And even at a grade of 9.4, um, I've seen them sell for about $700. This is Canadian, so it's kind of crazy. Uh, but anyways, I was looking for one of these. Uh, this is, uh, like I said, number 375. It's the first appearance of She-Venom, which is Annie Wig, right? Of uh, That's uh, Eddie Brock's girlfriend. Um, and she got more popular um, from the first Venom movie. And I'm not, I haven't seen Venom 2 yet, but I'm pretty sure that she also makes an appearance in that one too. Hopefully she has a bigger role, but who knows. But it was pretty awesome when she was She-Venom. Uh, but yeah, got this one, first appearance. So that's a nice one to add to the collection. I'll put that here. And what's good about this one is it kind of um, is a precursor to Venom Lethal Protector. It's kind of like um, Spidey, Spider-Man, and Venom's last kind of final confrontation. And then um, they kind of have an understanding um, because of Annie. And uh, he goes on to become lethal protector. So the, the anti-hero sort of thing. All right, so enough of that. And the next... Uh, CGC comic we have here is Spider-Man Legend of the Arachnite number one. Uh, first all new collector's issue. So this one is done by uh, Todd McFarland, fellow Canadian. Um, he did the story and cover, and this is an amazing cover. Like, that art is absolutely beautiful. Um, they also have a Walmart edition that has the barcode, and that one sells for thousand plus, I think two thousand um, dollars. But I got a good deal on this one. I only paid, I think, two hundred dollars Canadian for it, which is very, very good. And I feel like uh, this is a good investment because later on it's going to go up in value, um, being Todd McFarland and all. And so the third comic that I got was there. There's the regular version. There is the silver version, so that's the other, that's the third one I got. And then there's the gold version. Um, there's also the gold version Walmart edition. I forgot how many, maybe there's like a, I forget. It's a limited number that they came out with for the Walmart edition. If you guys know, please comment below. And then they have another platinum um, 
edition, which I have not seen, and I'm sure it's going to go for a lot of money. But it's kind of crazy how these these comics nowadays and trading cards are just skyrocketing in value. So you gotta you have these in great condition um, at home in your collection. You should send them out, get them to CGC, get them graded, and then once you get like a 9.8 or a 9.6 or even a gem mint, uh, the values will just go go up, up, up. But yeah, basically I just wanted to show off all my gold stuff. Gold, 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 and then this is like, you know, still shiny but in red. Uh, but yeah, sticking to my whole thing that whenever I get a package of some sort of collectible or item, I'm not going to do that for a toaster, obviously, um, but I am going to do an unboxing video. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys on the next one.